Okay, welcome back. We've got a lot to do today. Uh, got the Subaru out, it's warming up, charging the battery. I got my deer over. We're going to make a pallet fork adapter for the front. It does have the quick connect, so we're gonna build something similar, similar to that. I got some bar stock. Uh, these are the forks that were on the front or back, when you call it, of the box blade. Um, so obviously I can lift a lot more of the box blade, but not front. So I'm gonna do that. So we need to move a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see what else we're gonna do. We fixed the Lincoln. I didn't film that. Uh, but today, we gotta get this motor that came out of my RT. Remember, we blew that up. Well, not blew it up. Uh, we dropped number one cylinder, because it was only at 60 pounds. Um, the rest were at like 150, 160. I got pictures. I'll see if I can I can post them in here. Um, but anyways, let's let's get it down, get an engine stand. I gotta take the heads off, um, make sure they're good. Uh, send the pictures to the buyer because uh, he's gonna buy hopefully the engine, uh, the exhaust. I have all the old exhaust Mopar performance headers, white pipe that I built. Uh, I gotta take the fuel system off of it, all the air motor stuff that came with the Procharger stuff. So all right, let's get to work. Just bought these at Harbor Freight. <laughs> I've been saying wanting to buy a set for years. Finally did.
Looks pretty clean. I don't see any bent push rods. Cam looks really good. God, this motor is, you know, I was religious about changing oil on this thing. Yeah, it looks really good. Let's see if we can see anything. I don't see anything too terrible. All right, let's take this head off. This is the one that had 60 pounds on it. So far, so good. Look how, look how nice that was. I'm kind of proud of that. You know, I took really good care of this motor. Look how clean that valve cover is. There's no gunk, there's no grime, there's no soot, there's no. Ugh. <laughs> I like it. All right. It's time to take rockers off. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I thought I drained that. Oh, yep. <laughs> I should probably check my turbo. Because that went somewhere. There she blows. That was the reason. We're missing a lot of piston, and it looks like part of the ring. <laughs> but hey, those cylinder boards look good. Man, there's like nowhere. You see this? It's like literally nowhere. Not like Travis Case's engine. It's got 300,000 miles that, you know, gaps themselves. <laughs> Seriously, there's like nowhere. You, you see, here, let me put this down. That's just like the scuff area. That's awesome. Still got the cross hatching. Huh. And the cylinder head. This is number one. Man, it's not even beat up. Beat up or anything. Well, looks like it dented it. <laughs> looks like it dented a couple times. That's probably why the spark plug got beat up. But really, I mean, that's survived pretty good. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> well, you know, I guess I could have. I could have put another piston in it. But I'm already too far into the LS. So, and I think I got this one sold anyway, so. All right, well. I'm going to talk to the owner to see if he wants me to take the other cylinder head off. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to wrap this, this quick episode up. Now we know what happened to the RT. Uh, we're going to talk soon. I know some people were asking about how I did the motor mounts for the LS swap. Here's a quick picture video of it. All right, obviously I don't have a bolt in there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I may make some uh, make some kits. You see there's like a little rib I need to file down in there. Which, I mean, that might not be that bad idea, but it doesn't f sit flat. You have to grind that down. So, and then the other side. 
That's what that looks like. So I'll get them off here. There'll be another episode. We're going to try and get this running, um, hopefully before snow falls. So we're super close. We're going to put a 256 in it. Um, yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching this part of Fixer Fab on the RT Turbo Dakota. Thanks for watching. There's more. I pulled the passenger side head off too. Uh, I just want to make sure before I fixed it. So um, I don't know if I'll put it back in or not, but we'll see. I think it looks good. This one checked good on the compression test. There's just that number one cylinder that was bad. So, all right. I'm really gone now. See you, babe.